Now, most photographers will, instead of calibrating their camera, they'll just bring an image into Lightroom and use the white dropper tool to click around the photo and look for something that they think is white or black or some kind of mid-gray. And when they click on it and it neutralizes the color balance, they will think, well, I've white balanced the image, so my colors are correct, right? Absolutely wrong. Your colors aren't necessarily correct, even if your white balance is neutral. Because your underlying color definitions are really complicated. Because each and every single color can be completely different from one another. In fact, that's why in Lightroom you have this whole area of HSLs, which is hue, saturation, and luminance, because most people haven't calibrated their camera and so they have to come in and tweak their oranges and their reds and their greens to try and make them look more correct. And that's why we want to calibrate our camera because if we do that, we will save time in post-production and we will be perfectly accurate on all the colors we get. And our images are just gonna look better because the camera is going to be giving us real color. Now, if you don't know how to make a camera profile, we're gonna show you really quickly. And it's very simple. All you need to do is take a picture of the Keller Checker Passport. The model can hold it. And of course, the, the software is intelligent enough to see a Keller Checker Passport at this distance. But just to be safe, I like to make sure that I'm as close as possible to the Keller Checker Passport. Once I've taken the photograph, all I have to do is go to the export dialog box. So just click on export. When you're in the export dialog box, rather than exporting an image to your hard drive, you're simply going to use the XWrite preset that's installed with the XWrite plugin and simply name your profile. In our case, we would name this a 5D Mark IV. And then I'm gonna name the kind of light source that I am in. So this is daylight. And once I've named the profile, I simply click the export button. And what the software is doing is it's reading all of these known colors in the Color Checker Passport, and it's creating a profile that will convert what the camera is creating into the true colors that we know on this Color Checker Passport. And now that I've restarted Lightroom, I simply go into the develop module over to the right hand side in the profile section, just right above the white balance area, you'll see four squares. Click on that and that brings you into the profile browser where you will see that we now have a profile called a 5D Mark IV Daylight. And now that we've made a daylight profile for the Mark IV, all we need to do is simply click on the profile and watch the difference the profile makes to her orange sweater. Now it's a little bit more yellow, isn't it? It's actually more accurate. And you can see that the reds in her pants and the greens, everything becomes a much more accurate color. Simply click on that and now that image will forever have the correct color and I know that these colors are absolutely accurate in the pants and also the color of the sweater and also the skin tone, her hair, the hat, etc. And if you'd like for this profile to always be added to every single image that ever is imported from your camera, simply go into the develop module and apply your profile, leave the white balance exactly as it is, and then do anything that you normally do on a regular basis, like I take the shadows up a little bit, the highlights down a little bit, usually I bring the exposure up just slightly, uh, and the contrast down just a little bit with the saturation pulled down a little bit, and that's the style that I'm using. Once I've established the things that I do to every single photograph, minus the white balance and including my profile, I simply go to the develop menu and click on set default settings. When I set the default settings and update to the current settings, then every single image that ever comes into Lightroom from my 5D Mark IV is going to receive the same adjustments before I ever even see them, including the camera color profile. But the problem is, is that most of us don't have the time to take a picture of the Color Checker Passport every single time we change the color of light that we're photographing in. And so what I wanna do is I wanna create what I like to call a master profile. 
uh, we're going to create what X-Rite calls a dual illuminant profile. And we're going to do that. It's going to create a profile for this camera, for the Mark IV, that's going to be good in almost every light source that we photograph in. And then when we get to a tricky light source, we can always pull this out, take a picture of it, and use that calibration specifically for that one light source. But we're going to make a master profile for our camera, and it's going to be good across almost every shot I ever take. Let me show you how to do that. In order to create a dual illuminant profile or a master profile, what we need to do is take two images of a color checker passport. Now I have three, one in incandescent light, one in bright sunlight, and one in shade. And what we want to do is we want to choose two photographs that are in very different light sources. So I'm going to choose the incandescent light source because it's very warm. And then I'm going to choose either the sun or the shade because those are very cool. And so they're very different from one another. What we're going to do is take a picture of the color checker passport in incandescent light. And then we're going to take a picture of it in shade because those are as far opposite as we could possibly get in color tones. Once we've selected our two color checker passport images, we're going to go to the export dialog box the same way we did before and we are going to name this profile the 5D Mark IV Master. And we're just going to denote what colors we're using. So we're using shade and incandescent light. So SI. Hit export. What the software is now doing is it's actually reading this color checker passport in two very different light sources so that it can create a profile that works across multiple light sources. Um, and that's why we choose two very different colors of light. And now that we've created a dual illuminant or a master profile, we can simply go in and highlight every image that's been taken by the 5D Mark IV in our grid, highlight all of them, go to the develop module, and make sure that our auto sync is on. Then simply go to the profile browser and click on our master 5D Mark IV uh, dual illuminant profile. And now that we've applied our master profile to all of our images with the Mark IV, doesn't matter what light source we happen to be in, whether it's flash, whether it's shade, or whether it's incandescent light sources, all of those images are going to have more accurate color because we profiled the camera. While you can use the camera calibration software to create profiles for other software like Capture One, you can only use dual illuminate profiles or master profiles inside of Lightroom. While making a profile for every single light source that you shoot in is the most accurate way to get perfect color, Making a dual illuminant or a master profile is the easiest way to get great color across every single shot that you ever shoot with every single camera you have.